everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim. And if this is your first time stopping in, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, so we are here to build my 2024 journal. Um, it's been a while since I did this and I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out how I knew exactly where to, to cut these pages directly in half. Oh, I used one as a guide. That's right. I remember now. I used one as a guide. Okay. So here's my, here's last year's journal. Okay. This is last year's journal. I'm sorry about the shadowing. It's nighttime and I have the overheads on. Um, and with the, with the white table, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy, the, the shadowing. I apologize, but this is what my 2024 journal looks like. Um, I have a couple videos on this and what I like to keep in it. And these are the templates, templates, templates um, of the pages. Okay. So this is what I have. This is this. I don't keep a lot of information on the canvases in here. I basically just keep the name of the canvas, the name of the company, the artist, the size of the canvas, ga canvas um, the total drill count, the number of colors, number of ABs, any special drills, the diamond shape, when I started it, when I finished it, any enhancements I made, the year's finish, my lifetime finish, and any notes. Um, I did revamp this slightly. I instead did canvas, company artist, size, drill shape, uh, number of colors, total drills, ABs, specials, and then enhancements. And then in the middle, I have start, finish, 2024 finish, and lifetime finish. Um, and then notes. I made the font slightly smaller because um, I... I just don't think I need that much. I don't need it to be that big. And I, I made this in the middle and kind of gave it a space in between so that it was e like your eyes went right to it. Um, so I only printed four pages and I was sitting here like, how am I going to, how do I know exactly where in half is? And that's right. I remember now I use an old, another, a page from the that's already done and I use that as a guide. So, um, I'm making a brand new one. This is my 2024 and I can't even use these pages cause they say 2023 finish. Um, I guess it's a little wasteful, but I really just wanted to start with a fresh new look and vibe. Um, I, Let me just make sure that if you hear noises in the background, my daughter is cooking in the kitchen. So my door is shut, but you might still hear a little something. Now the paper that this is printed on is, is a little heavier. Oh, that didn't cut that great. That's okay. The paper that this is printed on is a little heavier. Um, it's a 32, I think, they, they, call, they do it by pound, right? 32 pound um, paper. So I what I do is, is I use one sheet per canvas. And so I just cut it in half. And um, I put the blank sheet on top. And this is kind of like the cover sheet. Um, and I'll put a picture of the canvas and I'll dazzle it up a little bit. And then on the back, I'll put the legend and another picture of the, of the canvas as well. Um, so this is for one canvas. I have four pages here. Um, I'm probably going to, I'm definitely going to print up more of them, but let me just... 
I just wanted to uh, get this. I wonder why it's, this is, oh, this is my old one. Is this my old one? This is my old one. So it's, it's not as sharp. Where's the new one? Um, hold on guys. Okay, um, the only thing about this one is I'm not as well versed as to where to where to line up the um, the blade, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I thought another fun thing we could do is I could make a nicer cover. Um, I have a laminator now. I can make a laminated cover. I thought that would be fun. And I do have to put my finished cardinals in here as well. So, let's see if, see that cut so much nicer. And I, I don't, I think this, sheet might be just a tad and you can't tell so that's two and then maybe I'll just do both sheets because this is I should be able to cut through two let's actually leave this up up against here so it's going to cut straight okay all right so this was my guide and then I have two of these so one two so that's four sheets okay now The next step to making this is to figure out where I want the holes. So you see all of these holes. Um, let me see if I put that there, I gotta move it down just a tad um, to make it even. Yeah, I think that's where I did it. So I line it up against the first L. That's where I can make. So I line it up against the first L. And there we go. Um, so it's all coming, it's all coming back to me now. So that's one canvas. And then what I can do is two canvases. I can pull this out as we prepare. Um, you know, and we can fill this, keep this filled out together with each canvas and which with each kit up and kit down. So this is a big difference, but that's okay. So line it up with that L. Okay. There we go. 
Um, I'm definitely going to make more. That's the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and make more and then um, we'll finish the cover and we'll put together the cardinals. We'll put that on here and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I did some things. I did some things. All right, so I I printed up six more pages. So for a total of 10, I and I cut them. Oh, I forgot to do this part. So let me just separate these into their, their sheets and cover sheets. Make sure they're all right side up. Um, okay, let me just make sure they're all right side up. And then I have to put the hole punched through them. Okay, one, two, two, three, Four, five, six, okay, and then that's, and then here's the other four. Okay, so let's real quick punch holes in these, and then I'm going to show you all the, so I pulled out my laminator and I turned it on, and I had it all heated up, ready to go. I pulled over... Um, okay, I printed up six more pages of this and then I went ahead and I thought, what am I going to put on the cover? And I decided to take the, take the, the picture, um, of my intro and um, use that and as well as I just typed up something and I'm gonna laminate that as my cover. So let me just do that and I'll show you. I accidentally printed up one that was like a full page page. I'll show it to you. Printed up really, really nice. I mean, it cut off some pictures, but it got my pudge pudge in there. My little sausage. My baby, she's out in the kitchen begging for some treats. Okay. So we're gonna start with 10 paintings but look at this look how nice it came out I, i'm so happy with my printer but look at my little pooch pooch she looks like et oh my gosh and then it cut off the other two. <laughs> oh, i love her i'm gonna have to hang that up um so i made it smaller and it is big enough but not too big for the cover and then on the bottom i'm gonna put 2024 Diamond Painting Therapy Journal. Yes. Okay, so let's cut, let's cut this. I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to cut, I have to cut it closer to the, I have to cut it closer to this edge. Let me move this. This is my lamp, my sheets. But I have to cut it closer to this edge. Just leave a little lip. Okay. And then we'll use the guide again. For the 
size. Now, of course, the um, cover can be a little bigger than everything else. Okay, so now I wanted a little more space here because I got to puncture it. It doesn't look straight, does it? I mean, I can't do anything about it. just looks a little off. It's weird. Yeah, it's a little crooked. There we go. I mean, that was really messing my what messing with my there we go that was really messing with my eyes okay so no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna puncture it yet I'm gonna puncture it after I laminate it but first let's go ahead and get this off of here I think that this should fit without an issue just need double-sided tape but you know what I can use I'm gonna cut it closer to the 2024 there we go yeah let me get that Got the swish, swish, swish from Gloria. Let me see. Oh my goodness, it's so much easier. So I just need it to, because once I, you know, when I laminate it, it's going to stick again. And I just need this to be straight. Okay. Now let's laminate. So we got all these different size sheets in here. I think this, this one, I think this one's perfect and I think I'll keep it this size even. I see you. That's a little sub subliminal <laughs> okay so these are really thin but remember I made the pocket with it it felt thick you know what I also so that means I have to make a bag Um, 
pull it out just a little bit. I think I want to put, let me put, put this over a little bit. I think that's a good, okay, so that's where I'm gonna do it. And then I'll just cut a little off on this end. Okay, we're gonna enter, it says enter. It says enter here. And it's eating it. Yes. Okay. So we got the cover. I love doing this stuff. It's so much fun. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'm like, I, I mean, I'm always thinking I should be diamond painting, but no. This is fun. We can have a little fun. Okay. Ta-da. Oh, I love it. This is my journal cover. Okay, and then we need I need to make a second one. Can you put cardstock in there? I don't know. No, let me just get another piece of paper. So this is this is the heavier paper. It's it's regular paper, but it's just heavier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out the same size. I can put it through again that way. That's better. Okay. Go through like this. The reason why I'm putting it through like this is because it says you put it through where it's put together. Maybe if I Hold it up and I grab it on the other end, it'll come through. 
you know, not wrinkled. I mean, what I did just now worked. Oh yeah, that worked, okay. So I have these two sheets now, and there. this is the back, this is the end cover. And I'm just going to go ahead and I don't know why the front cover is, it doesn't matter. Just going to cut it a little bit. Can't cut it up to the line, you know? as I feel comfortable going. There we go. So that's the front. This is the back. All right, and then where do we want these half? Oh, where's the front? Is this this one? Okay. Okay. Let me just see here. Can't you do it so that that they don't it doesn't go down? Because I, I don't want well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it, it has to be. How do you do that? I gotta look that up. I'm sure it has something to do with these. I don't really wanna mess with them though. With these screws back here. go. Perfect. All right, guys. So I have my cover and my and then another thing I wanted to make and I think I'm going to laminate it is a bookmark that um, is for my whips. All right. I have 
like all these sheets of paper here. I think try writing something cute like let me try writing it cute um I don't have cute handwriting like that whips and then I get my sheets again so I I did this with this one <clears throat> let me put this back together because I mean not that I'm ever going to use the end part of this but um so this this marked where my works in progresses were. And then when I finished them, I put moved them over in order. So I, I kept everything in order by finish, not by start. That's the thing I like about this book is that I can, you can move things to whatever, you know, order they are for you. I don't know. Just leave it. All right, I'm just going to use a whole page because I want this to stick out like that. And this opens up like that. I should probably cut it before I laminate it, right? So I'll cut it like I mean because I I don't I I can use the rest of this on something else another time. I don't, I don't want to, um, I'm not going to be cutting off any on the sides. And if it's not straight, it's, it's going to bug me. like my like a bookmarker basically all 
Ooh, comes out hot. I'm just trying to keep it from getting all wavy and weird. Sounds like alien or the predator or something. <laughs> it's like <laughs> kind of creepy. All right, all right, and then we're gonna cut off its tail. up here perfect okay so this that's not used this is garbage these are garbage I forget what colors I have. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, what color should I do? I, th I feel like I should do pink, either pink or purple. Um, I'm going to do pink. And I had to get two bags because I knew I didn't have enough of one color in one bag. And I got bigger rings this time because I am hoping to do a lot more paintings this year. The pink doesn't match. Oh, this doesn't even match. It's weird. All right, we'll do purple then. Because all they're like all different colored pinks. Look. Like these are the same. These are the same I don't I don't even know it's like drills <laughs> do purple okay so two four how many do I need one two three four five six year because they're not tearing my paper up. Let's see if I can do 
four pages at a time. I can turn this off. Oh, I'm going to turn this off. The Predator. Okay. I'm getting really hungry. Okay, that's good. I, I might have to print up more pages. Maybe these are too big. Besides, I'm definitely doing more than 10 diamond paintings, so I should print up 30. That's my goal. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't have a number goal. I'd like to do at least two. At least two. This is planned. See, I got, I got a little bit bigger ones because they were getting hard to turn. And these are like way too big, I feel like. These are so big, they're goofy looking. And then this goes in here like this. And now you can see where my whips are. I'm gonna have to add more pages to this thing because I don't, I guess this is like, but these were so tight. I like the way these move much better than these. We'll fill it up. It's just got to get, it's just motivation to make this thing wider. Um, oh no, something's falling out. Yeah, they, they come out easier, which is nice because I move them from whips to non-whips. So, let's go ahead and fill this one out. My first canvas, the name was Cardinals. The company was Star Or. The artist was, it was a Shutterstock, right? Shutterstock image. The size is a forty by fifty one. The number of drills was twenty six. Our number of colors, 26. Drill shape, round. Total drills, it has it on here. Um, let me see. 19, 7, 68, plus 11, 0, 7, 15, 7, 8, 20,000. Eight 
875. ABs, yes, there were two ABs and then two rhinestones. Enhancements, none. I started it on the third and I finished it on the eighth. This is my, this was my first 2024 finish and my 42nd lifetime. second lifetime finish. I want to double check that. Oh, I know where I can check that. Because um, I'm keeping my times. Start one, three, finish one, eight. So one, three, 24, one, Eight twenty four, and here is the picture. I am such a mess. Uh, let me put these away I'm like a kid. Okay. This is, this is gonna go here. this red washi So this is my cover sheet. Uh, I'm trying to use the lines on the page behind it to make it straight. And I left a little lip.
been doing this to give it like a border. I, can't, I keep cutting this too small. It's gotta fill, it's gotta cover up to the top. That is pretty with this one. up cardinals and um what goes on the back of here what did I just do oh I just put all this washi on it it's picture of the finished canvas too. Do. Do. 
that. And then I just need a a picture of the finished product. And then I probably will put a picture of it hanging outside. So that'll be my note. My note will be that I hung it outside once I do that, but I haven't done that. And we can update the rest of this when I do my post review kit down and, and framing. That's it guys, we are all set. I'm gonna add more pages to this. This is pretty pathetic. <laughs> but I love the cover. Very, very happy. And then, I, and then this is my bookmark. And then any new canvases I start will be put on those pages. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Canvas Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care. Keep diamond painting.